A Time to Mourn, Minute Devotion number 1205. Have you ever come to a point in your life when your heart just feels like it's going to break in two? If you haven't, you will. When I see someone I love grieving, when I know someone must put their pet to sleep, when I witness the cruelty of words spoken and not forgotten by the object of their target, when I sit on my couch in the evening and hang my head as I pass judgment on myself for what I have and haven't done, these things make any heart heavy. If I allowed my mind to dwell on these too much, I wouldn't be able to get out of my bed and do anything productive. This is exactly what the Prince of Darkness wants me to do. Is there another alternative? Absolutely. Ecclesiastes 3, 4 tells us there is a time to mourn. I understand this to mean that we should count on the fact that in this life, bad things are going to happen. These things are not something God slips up on and accidentally forgets to stop. It is in times like these that we have the opportunity to move closer to God. He cares. He grieves with us. He notices. He longs to help in the best way, which may not be the way we think it should be. The bottom line is, this life will bring many seasons as Ecclesiastes 3 reminds us. But when the season is grief and even despair comes, we can cling to the words John says in Revelation 22, 20, even so, come Lord Jesus. If this minute has been helpful to you, I have two books available on Amazon entitled 100 Minutes with God and 100 More Minutes with God. They both would make fabulous Christmas gifts. I'll see you again tomorrow morning.